Hello everyone, welcome to Builder Buy. We're getting ready to run a test of the Passmark, uh, which is the performance test. Are you familiar with the CPU benchmark or the GPU benchmark? We use that a lot when we're looking at equipment, trying to evaluate you know, processors from other boards, video cards, what's the best bang for the buck. Because two things we like to do, well, number one, keep it simple. Number two, find bang for the buck. And uh, this option came up as a question uh, in the testing when uh, a user took a look at, and let me show you what I'm talking about on Builder Buy. I'll go to Builder Buy, YouTube. 10P6 asked if we could run this test. So, 10P6, this test is for you. Folks, I'd appreciate it for thumbs up if you find this helpful, and also I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe. So here we go. We're going to go over to that computer and take a look at that test. Now, I had previously run this test, and I had a second monitor hooked up and I had some bleed over on the screen so I had to uh, run this again so we're gonna call this up and this is the default configuration I changed one setting I changed from uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit so we'll click on continue and uh, I'll tell you as this proceeds what you're gonna see is your comments in the upper left hand corner of what this particular uh, performance test is doing and some of this will run full screen, some of it will not. And what I want to make sure is that you're able to see the CPU usage as some of these tests run. So you'll see how it, how it hits it. And in between some of the tests, the screen will go black. There's nothing wrong with the video. There's nothing wrong with your device that you're watching the video on. It's just that's the way it works. So let's go ahead and uh, run the test. This is the complete pass mark test. So as this tells us, we're about to run all tests. It'll take several minutes. Are you sure you want to continue? We're going to say yes. Now we've only got one display plugged in, so we won't have any bleed over from the other monitor coming through. This will be a single display. Now what you're going to see is a 1080 display. Some of these tests want to run at 4K. We do not have a 4K uh, display hooked up. What we would need to do would be to show you a 4K display from a monitor. Ten P six asks us to run this at ten eighty, so that's the way you're able to see this through a converter. And we're running this on our A10 video switch and we're running this through a DAC seventy. A DAC seventy converter. So you're seeing directly what that video input looks like. So we're going through the CPU. And if you notice on the right, the CPU usage, you see the cores when it hits all of them. And that's actually 16 threads. Eight cores, 16 threads. Again, this is a Ryzen 7 1800. CPU single thread test running. Hits core number 12 this time. Now we go after the graphics. It's, uh, it's done its thing on the CPU. And what you're seeing in the video is the same thing I see because the output's coming from the uh, video card, the WX7100, which has four display port. And we come out of that display port with a, with a converter that'll take us to HDMI, then from HDMI we can take it into the adapter that's the converter that gets it into the video switch that then does the output to the recorder. And even though some may prefer DisplayPort for 4K, you can get HDMI 4K and we've done it with this computer with this video card but not all monitors will but a 4K TV will specifically the Samsung Smart 4K TV so the 2D graphics is pretty simple and straightforward when it gets into the 3D graphics that's a little bit more intensive and if you notice in the upper left hand corner it shows the frames per second for that particular test. And 
that everything's fine it's still there it's get, there it comes back that's just when it changes from one test to the other now again this shows the frame rate shows the video card shows the resolution now the output from this video card is 1080p 60 we have to convert it to 1080i 59.94 because our switch is set up for a broadcast standard but what you're seeing in the recording is the same thing I'm seeing on the monitor. I'm able to watch both. And again it's fine. It's still there. So now we go to the next test. DirectX 9, DirectX 10 as it goes through the process. Shows the frame rate. Shows the video card. The AMD Radeon Pro WX7100 shows the resolution. This says 1680 by 1050. So it adjusts the resolution accordingly. But it's full screen. You're seeing it full screen. You may have some banding on the left and right, but what I'm seeing on the monitor is full screen. And again, it's still there. It's adjusting for the next test. Still adjusting for the next test. And now we go to this. Shows the frame rate. Again, the video card, the WX7100. And shows the resolution. This time we're 1080. Looks like jellyfish in space. And again, it's still there. DirectX 9, DirectX 10, 11, and DirectX 12. And again, the frame rate, the video card, the resolution. Unable to run at desired resolution of 3840 by 2160. Test score penalized by 60%, penalized frame rate. We might run that later on a 4K display and put a camera on it. looks great looks great on a 1080 display I don't see any issues pass mark direct compute benchmark Mandel vector floats frames per second and it's keeping up with it mighty fine I don't I don't see any issues with it as others have mentioned though you've got to have good uh, good airflow in a case but you also want to be using a motherboard that can get the voltage to it. So not all motherboards are created equal. And I mention that because that's one of the things we've been waiting before we build that new Threadripper system is we want to get one of the new motherboards that can support the higher wattage CPUs. Even though the original ones are supposed to, we're waiting for one of the other ones, which are out now, but we'd like to have a couple of BIOS updates. Technology is a funny thing. There's leading, bleeding, and cutting edge technology. And we always say, let somebody else bleed. So database operation complete. Memory read cache running. So we're going through the memory mark. And then we'll get down to the disk mark and then it'll be complete. We'll do a memory write. It'll look at available RAM. We've got, I believe, 32 gigs in this machine. Now, when we build the Threadripper, we'll probably uh, put 64 gigs in that machine. And again, this machine is built to do two things. To render our videos that we create and to render the graphics, the overlays. Whether it be for uh, live video or recorded video, post-production. And we're hitting all the cores again. I wanted to have that up so you could see it. Now this is a Samsung 1 terabyte M.2 NVMe and that's as fast as we can get right now and based on what we know on the technology and as far as the chipsets are concerned because chipsets rule this is the technology until probably 2020 when things will change again. How much? We don't know.
But whether you buy a desktop, build a desktop, or whether you buy a laptop, an NVMe drive is as fast as you can get. And typically the larger drives are a little bit faster uh, as far as like an, an Evo versus a, a Pro. Whichever one's the best bang for the buck. So disk sequential read test complete, disk sequential write test running. Then it'll do a disk a disk random seek. And it shows that we have a burner in here, a CD DVD drive. It's a Blu-ray drive. Because we use Vegas Video, sometimes we need to create CDs. But we don't have a disk in there, so it won't test for that disk. And disk mark right now is 50% complete. CPU usage has dropped down to 3%, 4%. And there's our score. So our pass mark rating, however long that took, I'll zoom in on that so you can get a better, better view of it. So this is the pass mark rating from Performance Test 9. And our test score is 5298.7. And that's the complete test with all results. And if you notice on the right, we go through all that. The CPU mark, the 2D mark, the 3D mark, memory mark, and disk mark. And I think the two things that probably seem to stand out the most is number one, the pass mark rating, which is 5298.7, and then the 3D graphics mark, which is 9471.9. So I hope you found this helpful. Uh, I want to thank everybody who has uh, had a chance to take a look at this video. I want to thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe and thumbs up. And we'll look forward to seeing you next video. And for everyone that's already subscribing, we appreciate it. We're honored. If you have any questions, please ask. We'll do our best to answer in a timely manner. Y'all have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video.